Hi guys, Tim here from South Oz Hobby Hunter. Sorry it's been a while since I've been online um, and hopefully I'll rectify that in the next couple of days. This video is just a quick review on the Brynight HL16 Noctura headlamp. Uh, this was sent to me a couple of weeks ago so I've been testing it out. Now this one is really only good for uh, like campsites, just general use. It's not good for hunting, it's not designed for that. So if you just want a general purpose headlamp so you can see where you're walking, where you're running, or just working around the campsite, or working on your car maybe. So we'll open it up. Comes in a nice little box. First thing you get is a instruction card basically instructing you to take the tab from behind the battery to the battery compartment. And that is behind that little compartment there. So if we unscrew there, and you'll see a white tab, grab that, pull it out, throw that away. Put your cap back on, and the torch will work. So we'll get onto the torch a little bit later. Also in the box, you get a uh, silicon uh, bracket clamp that you mount to the strap which you can put onto your head, adjust it and use it as such. It also comes with the charging cable. Now like a lot of torch companies nowadays, they are going to a magnetic charging port. So quick click on and the little ring around the charging port will turn red when charging and turn green when it's fully charged. It's also USB like pretty much everything else these days. Also in the box you get an information card and warranty card. The user manual which is once again for Brynight very good and fairly inclusive. So as you can see double sided, gives you all the information how to set up your headlamp if you haven't done one before. Finally, the last thing that's in the box and one thing that always comes with Brynight gear, if I can get them out, some sealing O-rings for the end cap. So if you do damage the end cap where the battery goes in, you can replace them with the supplied O-rings. Alright, let's get onto the torch. So as you can see, Quite a nice little compact torch. Uh, it's got a pocket clip, or you can probably put it onto the uh, cap of your baseball cap, so you can mount it up there if you don't want to put the strap on your head. It also has one, two, three, four, so five position uh, bezel, I guess. So you can change that for different angles. Now that's really good, considering that the rear cap is also magnetic. So I'll just grab a bit of metal. So, so if you want to mount it up under the bonnet, on a roll bar, um, underneath the dashboard of your car, so while you're working on it, you can see what you're doing, on the pole of a tent, so you can work around the campsite. So, really versatile, quite handy to have. Now to turn on, there is a button on the side that has the Brynight logo. So I'll bring it out a little bit. So if you press and hold that, the torch will turn on. Press and hold again, and it will turn off. So turn on. Now, if you do a quick press, it changes the brightness level. So low, up to high, medium, and so on. The final one that this torch has got, if you want to go to a strobe, um, a lot of torches have got this feature. Really, I'm not sure why we need a strobe. Maybe to attract attention while you're out bushwalking or to disorientate a wild animal before it attacks you. So if you quickly double press the on button, it goes into a quick strobe function. One press and it goes back to normal torch. Press and hold and it'll turn off. Now, if you notice on the side, the green light will indicate that we've got almost 100% charge. So with the battery indicator on the side of the torch, I'll read from the instructions. 
When it's a solid green, you have between 100 to 40%. So it's a fairly broad idea of how much battery power you've got left. If it turns red and goes solid, you've got 40% down to 5%. And when it starts to flash red, then you've got 5% battery left or less. So we'll go through a few of the specifications. Now it's got four levels of intensity on the torch. We've got high, medium, low and moonbeam. And they run at 520 lumen for one hour, five minutes for the high beam. 200 lumen for one hour, 40 minutes on medium. 60 lumen for four hours and 50 minutes. And the moonbeam will give you five lumen for 80 hours. The strobe also operates at 520 lumen. It doesn't give you an intensity or duration for the strobe because let's face it, you're not gonna use the strobe for any length of time. Other specifications, maximum intensity, 5,000 candelas, which is actually pretty good for a small torch. Uh, waterproof level of the IP66, which is actually pretty good, which is why they give you extra O-rings. The distance of the beam, is 140 meters. I would say that's on the maximum intensity. Dimensions, 22 and a half millimeters for the diameter and 88.5 millimeters in length. So not overly a huge torch. The final thing, it weighs 51 grams. So there you go. That's the uh, HL16 Noctura from Brynight. As you can see there on the side, so we'll just zoom in on that. I have another Bryanite headlamp that I'm uh, trying out, and I'll hopefully get the uh, review on that in the next day or so. And to be quite honest, I was very surprised and very happy with the results from that headlamp. So stay tuned for that. Until then, Keep watching the channel. I will get some uh, hunting videos out as I've got plenty of uh, raw footage that I'm editing through. Thanks again for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. To get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. And until next time, please stay safe and stick to social distancing.